It has been nearly three weeks since three men were found dead outside of a Kansas City home, and their cause of death still remains a mystery this morning. Police say Ricky Johnson, David Harrington, and Clayton McGinney were found dead on January 9th, uh, but we're still awaiting the autopsy and toxicology reports that are expected to reveal how those men died. Joining me now is Dr. Priya Banerjee, board-certified forensic pathologist. Uh, doctor, thanks for being with us. You know, we've talked to friends, we've talked to family members uh, of three, these three men, but we have yet to speak to a doctor. So I'm curious, for starters, if this case came across your desk, I mean, what clues would you look for first to determine what happened to these men? What have been your biggest questions? Yeah, my condolences to the family mm -hmm. families first. Uh, it's a tragic way to lose your loved ones. They were enjoying themselves like most of us during football season. So I think it's perplexing when there's three adult men that all die under in one instance, if you will. And I think, you know, anytime you approach a case where three, you know, healthy, otherwise functional people suddenly pass, you have to first of all rule out foul play. As far as I'm aware, the information that was released does say that there's no suspicion of foul play, yep. which I think, you know, from a medical perspective, it means that the autopsy didn't find any big injuries that caused their death. You know, we always so look you for think they already hidden. have autopsy results. The public just hasn't been made aware of it. So I think there are partial autopsy results okay. that are or prelim, I should say, that are available. So the no foul play really says that no significant injuries caused their death. That you can tell at autopsy right away, the day of autopsy. We check their head, neck, you know, their entire body to make sure no one did anything to them. Then it becomes a question of things we can't see directly, and we need to wait for the other testing, such as toxicology. That's much more difficult in a autopsy setting than when we're alive. And so that's why it takes time. You know, with the football game going on, was there any drinking, you know, which is a normal social activity, but did it cause or contribute to their death? And then the investigation plays a very critical role. And then that's not something the medical examiner leads. That's a police-driven activity. We don't have the right as the ME to go question, you know, individuals involved uh -huh. um, in the event. So all of that has to come together. And I wanted to also add, yeah, we know that the Kansas City Police ruled out foul play less than 24 hours after discovering mm -hmm. the bodies on January 9th. I also wanted to ask you about the weather that night, because uh, according to the National yes. Weather Service, temperatures ranged from as high as 37 degrees to as low as 18 degrees uh, from Sunday to Tuesday. And, you know, the tenant's original story when police came to his house was that, you know, my buddies froze to death in the backyard. Do you see that as plausible, doctor? And also, how could those cold temperatures impact uh, the reports that we're waiting for? Yeah, all very good points. So temperatures are critical in this case. Now, it's whether they caused or contributed to their death. I think the, it's known that the bodies were frozen when found. However, did were they alive at the time or was it like they were passed out they deceased outside and then froze that's a very hard question to answer and i think it's going to be very critical to sort of put all the puzzle pieces together including the toxicology sometimes there's telltale signs at autopsy but they're not always present sometimes so we look for like little ulcers in the stomach that shows the body was under stress but it's important to remember, just because the body's frozen does not mean that they froze to death, okay? The temperatures are obviously very cold in the winter, and the exposure, we call it to cold temperatures, is a huge consideration in the entire story. Well, we're certainly uh, hoping that these reports will be made public soon and give us some definitive answers uh, for the family's uh, piece as well, because many of them not believing uh, that this you know, wasn't something sinister. Dr. Priya Banjeri, thank you so much. Thanks for watching, everybody. Go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your television provider. Also, don't forget to click that red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.